Hello again, YouTube! This is Dr. Kendo, and I'm back with another Scribble Knots Unlimited object editor creation commentary, but also some exclusive first time news about a game that I played at PAX East earlier this year. Dr. Kendo Commentaries has the exclusive first rights to make this announcement about an update for a game called Marooners. Yes, M2H Game Studio is the team of minds behind this wonderful game, and I got connected with many of them while at PAX East, and they've allowed me, Dr. Kendo, to be the first source to break news of a new character coming to their game, Marooners, tomorrow, which is Friday, May 20th. So you'll see it and hear it here first as I create the character in Scribblenauts and talk a bit about the game later on. So, you saw, hopefully, we started off with a bodybuilder, and we've added uh, Maxwell's baby brother named Tots. We took his legs and are putting those on right now, kind of with this red and black color pattern. You can find it in the texture or color pattern library. And of course, hopefully you noticed I took off the head and the arms for the bodybuilder and we're going to add on a sash right now, but not as a sash is intended to be worn, but rather it's going to be sort of for the belt or the attachment right here for uh, this character, which I guess we should just go ahead and say his name. His name is Chumpy. And again, this is a Dr. Kendo Commentaries exclusive. This is the first place that you can hear of this new character before it drops tomorrow. So again, Chumpy is his name and uh, he's basically this kind of headhunter looking warrior tribal warrior guy and he's sporting a loincloth right there and so that's what this rectangle and sash combination were to make that look as accurate as we could to the character and now I'm typing in knuckle lavi and we're gonna take kind of the bicep or just the top part of the arm for knuckle lavi it's a crazy looking character in this game but uh, we'll paint it with the red and black pattern but then we'll also kind of go over with gray which in essence will darken the arm color or whatever right here and this is actually going to be the bicep or top part of the arm for our character Chumpy so we are going to add to this in just a bit because that knuckle lavi top arm piece is pretty small so that's obviously not the entire arm for Chumpy. Chumpy's got some long arms and so we're going to finish that off with Jenny Green Teeth again the red and black kind of color pattern and uh, darken it up a bit with like a light gray. Chumpy as you notice we've colored it basically his skin is all black and it has red for the real character the red is sort of outlining like skeletal bones, I believe, or just some tribal paint and whatnot on him. And uh, he's a really cool looking character. We'll have to show it on screen. And of course, I'll show it at the end of this episode, kind of for the comparison to see how it compares to the Scribble Knots Unlimited artwork that I've done uh, compared to the game's real artwork that M2H does. But for some more of that body paint that is on Chumpy's body, we've done on the torso a minus sign twice, one's above the other, and then Kraken. We took kind of of one of the bended pieces of tentacle for the Kraken and place that to either side of the minus signs right there and then we're just going to do a few more minor movements and adjustments and now that we're at the scripting here I can talk about Marooners and just give some background information and fun facts and things but let's talk a little bit about Marooners. So it's a hectic and fun multiplayer party game that hurls you into a chaotic mix of mini games changing back and forth between mini games as you're playing. So for example you'll be playing mini game number one, then it'll switch you to mini game number two right in the middle of your gameplay and after a certain number of seconds then you go on to mini game three while you were in the middle of mini game two and so on and so forth until it'll then go back to mini game one or two or whatever cycling through the levels again all while you are collecting treasure or coins in order to win. The player with the most coins by the end of it all is the winner. As I mentioned before I played the game at PAX East along with the Task Force 5 my other YouTube channel and we just had a crazy fun time with Marooners and full seamless multiplayer support means that you can play with your friends either online or locally and any combination of two to six online or local players is possible. Marooners also has full controller support and voice chat, steam trading cards, achievements and all. Unlock several quirky cool Marooners, which is the name for the characters of the game as well. And here exclusively, as I mentioned, is the newest Marooner being added to the game tomorrow, Friday, May 20th, Chumpy. You've heard it here exclusively as the first chosen news source for this information, so get ready to run, jump, and bash your way to glory when you play Marooners for yourself. So, of course, we don't end off with just the body, we want to create the head. So, in Scribble Knots, the reason that you would ever create a head and a body separately of any character is because there is a stamp limitation in this game. A stamp is basically any piece of the puzzle that you use to make your character. So you saw that we did create Chumpy's body earlier, and so now we're going to be creating the head. Hopefully you noticed, of course, I started off 
off with the head as the beginning source object, and we've added a fez turned upside down, and it has this crazy color pattern that's like fire-ish lava kind of color within the texture pattern library, and uh, then I added minotaur. I took the back thigh of the minotaur, you know, the upper leg piece for that, and that's gonna be either side of, this is basically gonna end up being a tribal mask with flames on it, and so his head, you know, he is wearing that kind of headhunter tribe looking mask, and so for Chumpy's head, that's what uh, kind of this is all forming to be, and you could see that I did fireball three times, one, two, three right here, left, middle, and right, and a wisp. If you take kind of the end pieces of the wisp that are all floating around the body of the wisp, then that's what these kind of flames are that are above the fireballs right there. And then I'm going to take the back leg of a crane, that would be C-R-A-N-E, and it's the bird, paint it that same kind of fiery color pattern, and then we're going to take Irish moss. Really, there are not a whole lot of stamps you could use, but maybe just a few other combinations for his mouth right here. This is supposed to be the mouth. It'll all come together as we keep going. I know that whenever I'm kind of like mid-object in this game and I'm creating, I often think, man, I hope people can just stick with me to the end to see how it's actually made and how all this crazy stuff like a fin of a fish right now that we're going to use for the eyes, you know, how is all this crazy stuff going to actually end up being the character? So, again, you stick with me to the end and see how all of these kind of stamp pieces form to make an actual character. So, uh, of course, as I mentioned, the fish fin, it's that front fin of a fish, the animal, not fish the food. That's going to be for the whites of the eyes right there. And then a golf ball is what we're going to use to be the colored part of the eyes right here, sort of a light green color of his eyes. And then I'm going to use another golf ball, paint it all black this time, and make that be the sort of pupils or the dots within the eyes, the black dots. And a pimple is going to be kind of the last piece of the eyes for both sides. So I'm going to paint the pimple all white and put that kind of in the corner of each eye right there and that's just going to be for some shine some glisten in the eyes and then I went with tots once again and took the back leg of tots and we actually moved that behind the Irish moss that is the mouth right now that's to show that there is sort of a smile you know Chumpy's guy slightly intimidating tribal looking guy but he's also got that kind of cute marooners look a lot of the marooners characters I think of like scribble knots they're sort of short you know they, they look sort of tiny and stuff in these game worlds they're short and they're cute but they also all can have their kind of personalities with them and so Chumpy definitely I think fits in with the crew because they uh, really it's not that hard to fit in with that crew I guess because the Marooners consist of really hoity-toity cool characters but then they also have like Viking characters and lots of others and so anyway I need to make sure that I'm telling you guys what to use here uh, Dragon Fruit was actually the hair to our left it's a uh, Chumpy's right but to our left is that kind of hair coming out from the mask and then Claws is actually what we use for the other side and uh, it's interesting you could just type in hair and kind of get that other side where we did the claws but I thought that claws actually was a little bit more closely showing off the shape that I perceive Chumpy's hair to be and he's got a feather on both sides so we did type in a feather in scribble knots for the one that's to our right to his left but then a cattail to be the other one because the feather is almost like on its side turned over so it's a lot thinner so the cattail is a good shape for that I think but anyway the scripting of the head whenever you have a separate head and body object in scribble knots you do need to script the head object under the equipment tab here in the properties editor. You need to make sure that it can be worn on the face like glasses. So that is something that we have noted right here. And uh, just make sure that you do that in your game whenever you're making the head and the body separately. And so here you can see that we're going to give our head to the body piece. We've got Chumpy right here. And uh, you can see kind of the obvious, which I knew this was going to happen. But the arm is kind of coming through the mask. And so we actually do want the head to be in front of that arm. So so what we're going to do is edit the body, the torso object of Chumpy, and turn on the green grids. It's sort of this, on the left side, you can see our panel of tools or whatever buttons that we can press. Well, in the top right of that panel, it'll turn on these green grids, and you want to make sure and just grab the one where the head would be and move that forward. So make sure that it is forward-facing in all the layers, and everything is behind it. And so anyway, we did make a few adjustments to make sure that that head would sort of be in the right position on the body. You do need to move around that head green grid shape to be sure that it doesn't look too funky or anything like that. But just to sort of end off, something about all marooners, the characters marooners, you know, all the little characters in the game, they each have their own unique sort of weapon that they use. All the weapons do the same thing. You can hit other people and get coins out of them. So you can make your friends or enemies lose coins, but also pick up their coins after they get hit. So we've made chumpy staff. You know, you could just start off with a staff as the source object and then use a snail and put the snail snails kind of 
of upper shell body piece on the tip of the staff. And so that's why I've got a chumpy staff right here. And chumpy actually does hold the staff a little bit further back. So we're going to go ahead and make another chumpy since this one is actually equipping a staff, you know, like equipment in this game. Here's sort of a more realistic version. So if you kind of edit chumpy's body and put the staff on via the object editor rather than equipping it like an item in game here in Scribble Knots, I think it'll look a little bit more accurate to the chumpy that is in Marooners. So here, just in case you want to see what I'm talking about, I will go over and edit the body that has the staff in it. So if you create Chumpy with a staff, this means that he'll always be holding it. He won't be able to remove that staff in Scribble Knots here, but it does look a lot more realistic to the game, Marooners. So I like it. I think I would ultimately stick with that design, but of course you have your choices. Now Chumpy, along with all the other characters in Marooners, does have other color patterns or costumes, I guess we should call it. I'm, th I'm thinking Scribble Knots terminology, but all the characters in Marooners do have other costumes. Chumpy's no different, but this is sort of the unlock screen, you know, uh, I have a screenshot that says new character, Chumpy, and so it's got this design that we can see with the flames and stuff on the mask, but there are some really cool other color patterns for Chumpy, and uh, maybe this will go along with my announcement. So not only did Dr. Kendo myself get the exclusive news to announce this first, before the rest of the world, and before it comes out tomorrow, May 20th, but I would also like to announce a giveaway. I do have codes to give away for this game, so please go to the Dr. Kendo Commentaries Facebook, and it'll also be on the Dr. Kendo Commentaries Twitter page. Both of those are linked in the description of this video, as well as all videos in this series, and I will be doing a post about this announcement, but in that post I will include a code for the game Marooners. So it'll basically just be a free-for-all, you know, whoever can get to that code first and redeem it in Steam will be able to play the game. But anyway, definitely go ahead and play Marooners, get the game. I'll post a link in the description also to the Steam store for you to get Marooners yourself if you don't want to wait and uh, test your chances in my giveaways and things. But I certainly encourage everybody to get the game themselves and check out this new character when it drops. Chumpy, he's crazy and awesome. But I appreciate everybody's attention. I will catch you on the next vid and thanks for viewing. Down the road up twists and turns, always anxious to see what's within. We can look ahead to the point of no return to the rest of our lives as a spectacle we give. Uh, been down the road of twists and turns, always anxious to see what's within. We can look ahead to the point of no return to the rest of our lives as a spectacle we give.